Creating GL accounts in SAP Business One is crucial for establishing and maintaining transparency and order among your chart of accounts. The general ledger is the backbone of your company database, forming the structural basis for recording the transactional data of your daily operations. It provides the foundation for the reporting and analysis of your company performance over time. To add GL accounts to your chart of accounts, go to Financials, Chart of Accounts. The drawers on the right indicate the different sections within your chart of accounts. The Assets, Liabilities, and Equity drawers are used for balance sheet accounts. The rest of the drawers are used for your profit and loss accounts. Pick the drawer that best suits your desired GL account to add it to the drawer. If you want your GL account in a specific category within the drawer, make sure to click on the category before you change the window into Add Mode. Once in Add Mode, you can enter the necessary information on the left-hand side of the window. First, we need to define whether the account we want to enter is either a title or an active account. A title account brings together and categorizes all the title and active accounts that come beneath it, making it easier for the user to find the account they are looking for and provide flexibility when viewing financial statements and reports. An active account, otherwise known as a natural account, is an account that will be used for transactions. When adding a title account, enter an abbreviation for the name of the account in the GL account field. Then use the name field to enter the full name of the account. Once you have the name and abbreviation entered, you can add the title account. Now let's add an active account under our new title account that we just created. For an active account, the GL account field is where you enter the desired numeric code or number sequence that will represent your account. Each box indicates a specific segment within the numbering sequence of the GL account. This can be set up within the account segmentation window, which is located under Administration, Setup, Financials, Account Segmentation. The Name field is where you enter the account name that will appear in the chart of accounts. The Currency field is where you can choose from the drop-down menu which currencies are allowed to be recorded in the account. You do have the ability to choose all currencies in this field, and it is recommended to have all currencies enter the account so that you do not have to change it later. The Confidential checkbox will prevent any unauthorized users from accessing or viewing the desired account. The Level field is grayed out and indicates the level within your chart of account structure that you are adding the account to. In this case, since we are adding the account under a Level 3 title account, the active account itself will be in Level 4. After the account is added and once there are transactions posted to it, the account balance will be displayed in the Balance field, and you can use the drop-down menu to select a currency to display the balance in. The Account Type drop-down menu will give you the option to create either a Sales, Expense, or other account. The Control Account checkbox will be checked for accounts receivable and accounts payable accounts after they have been set up in the GL account determination window. The Block Manual Posting checkbox will prevent users from manually posting a journal entry to the account. This is recommended for all inventory accounts, customer and vendor down payment accounts, and for goods received not invoiced accounts. The cash account checkbox is only used for accounts that receive and handle cash transactions. The cash flow relevant checkbox is to be used for accounts that will appear in the cash flow report. Finally, if the GL account is required for tracking costs to a particular project code for cost accounting purposes, you can check the project checkbox and select the project code in the field to the right. When you are finished entering the necessary information for your GL account, you can add it by clicking on the Add button at the bottom left of the window. In the future, if you need to adjust the position of your GL accounts or want to delete an account, you can do so with the Edit Chart of Accounts window. To access this window, go to Financials, Edit Chart of Accounts. From here, you can select which drawers you need to make changes in and click OK. On the right is a list of all the accounts within the drawer you have selected. Find the account in the list that you want to make changes to and click to highlight it. When you click on the account you want to change, some of the areas will be grayed out on the left, indicating that those areas of your account cannot be changed. Under Account Details, you are allowed to change the account name and which level the account will appear under. In terms of the GL account location, 
you can change which drawer the account appears in, the parent article, and which account it will appear after in the chart of accounts. When you are finished making the necessary changes to your GL account, you can click the update button at the bottom of the window. If you want to delete an account, you can do so by right clicking the account you want deleted from the list of accounts on the right side of the window. Note, you can only delete active accounts that have no transactions or opening balances posted. It must also not be a control account or included in the GL account determination window. In order to delete a title account, the account must not contain any subaccounts within it. Once you have deleted the accounts, you must click the update button at the bottom of the window. If the active account you want to delete already has transactions posted to it, then you can set the account to an active so no more transactions are posted to the account. To make an account inactive, go back to the chart of accounts and click on the account details button for the desired account. From here, you can click on the radio button next to an active and update the window. Configuring GL accounts within SAP Business One provides greater transparency and usability of the chart of accounts, creating a strong financial backbone for a company's database. Join us as we help you learn more about what SAP Business One has to offer by clicking the subscribe button and turn on post notifications so you never miss a new video. As an SAP Gold Partner, OBSI can help you take full advantage of everything the system has to offer. To get in contact with us, visit our website at www.lbsi.com and navigate to the contact link. You can also email us at sales at lbsi.com for sales related inquiries or SAP support at lbsi.com if you're an existing client in need of support assistance.